What a bullshit fight and a waste of my time. Welcome, um, T Street Controversy. This is Chris Cyborg. That's Chris Cyborg. She's been doing a little boxing too. Here, let's uh, let's talk for a little minute. Um, here watching the uh, Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva card. That is a uh, former UFC contender. Look, he is tired. Uriah Hall. Look, he almost he's falling backwards and shit. He is gassed. This is a former MMA fighter here. Here was his uh, MMA career, by the way. 17 and 11, 38 years old. 13 wins by KO or stoppage. And basically, I won't be surprised. It was a four-round fight. I have no issues giving it 2-2. Two -two. Um, this is supposed to be both of their pro debuts in the boxing match. But I don't want to see Uriah Hall again. I thought this was going to be better than what it was. You know, he, he did. He does got some nice jabs. He should be overall the better uh, striker, you know, or, or, you know, boxer. But he just looked like shit. Follow me on Twitter at T Street Controversy. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and also listen in on the Fight View 360 Boxing Podcast on Spotify. The Apple Store, Amazon, Pandora. This is a uh, Le'Veon Bell, former NFL player. Um, I said in his last fight, he knocked out Adrian Peterson um, a couple of months ago on a YouTuber card. And I said that when I was watching him, that if he would have started when he was younger, you know, in boxing, I think he could have been something because he's got to, he's got something. I don't know how to describe it. But let's turn it up, listen in and see what they're Los talking Angeles. about. I just thought that this fight would have been one to steal the show. You know, it just it, it, the replay value is nothing there for those who were interested. It's nothing. It was it was nothing there of note that happened. Are so they scoring the this? The oh, there is judges. Okay, let's listen in. This. Dr. Mike got a chin, though. He opened up the pay-per-view. Le'Veon Bell swelling under his left eye. Now, we'll wait for him to read the cards. The here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored about 40 to 36. All three in favor of the winner, Uriah. Prime time. I think he did just enough. I guess he did do just enough to win. Le'Veon Bell. I guess he did just do just something enough, right? Maybe. For both guys here in this fight. Yeah, especially in a four-round fight. I need him. I need him for two. Let's fighters, listen uh, to see if they do um, a post-fight interview. He is with Ariel Hawani of the MMA Hour. Thank you very I like much, that dude. Uriah. Congratulations on the win. What did you just say to Le'Veon? I just told him that. Uh, listen up. Listen up. I just told him I have so much respect for him. It's such a hard thing to do to switch careers. You know, he's a professional football player. And for him to step outside his comfort zone and do this, it's the toughest sport in the world. I don't care who you are. This is the toughest sport in the world. And I gave him so much props. I'm proud of you, man. This should make you understand that it's a hard road. And I promise you, if you keep going, you'll make it. Right here is life. These corners right here, this is life. And I told you, if you ever make it to Dallas, you got it home. Beautiful stuff. Did he surprise you? He definitely surprised me. He's pretty good. I think he does have a spot in his career. Obviously, this sport is mental, but for him to stick to his uh, jab to the body, I don't know if he was trying to set me up, but he was very consistent with it. And he was strong, man. I got cracked a couple of times. I was like, holy shit, but I had to keep it together. I'm proud of him, man. You're a good dude, bro. And you also made it look like, uh, wow, you were surprised that you won. I mean, you look great out there. We're looking at some of the footage here. You closed the show very strongly. Why were you surprised that you won? Because this is MMA and boxing, man. The judges are different sometimes, you know? It's, it's hard when you leave it up to these people who don't really know you. I didn't want to leave my career in the hands of people who don't know me. So my job was to come out here and try to finish him. Unfortunately, I can't leave it in the hands of other people. I can't do it. This is my career. This is my life. This is my paycheck. 
do you want to keep doing this? Do you want to keep fighting in boxing or go back to MMA? What do you want to do? Fuck yeah, I want to do this, man. I want Jake Paul. I want his... I want his frosty ass. I'm the dude that's going to come out here and expose him. And I'll tell you, if Anderson don't do it, I'm going to be one to fuck you up. Oh, my gosh. Right. I don't like that. Thank you very much, Rye. I'm not a fan of that, man. But, hey, he on the card, so, you know, maybe, you know... Now, so why not? There you go. I mean, he, he's already set himself, himself up for a future fight with him. He's promoted himself, and that's what he's here to do. He's you know, well. does Jake Paul versus Uriah Hall move the needle for you? It does it for me. But also, you know, I don't think that um, um, he won in the shutout against um, uh, Le'Veon Bell. But hey, that's just me to each his own. Um, on to the next card or the next fight on T Street Controversy with 5v360. Thanks for watching.